Anyway, now coming back to the next possibility. So, we have understood what a cascade structure is. We have seen the various possibilities, not one structure, it's several different structures. We now move on to what is called the cascade parallel structure. I will explain to you why we need to call it cascade parallel and not just parallel. Now, the idea is simple. In a cascade parallel structure, you are trying to decompose the system function by addition. So, in the cascade structure, you have decomposed it by multiplication. You have expressed the rational system function as a product of several rational system functions, each of which is causal. In a parallel or in a, you know, in a structure which aims to be parallel, you are trying to express the system function as a sum of different system functions. The idea is express H z equal to summation say q equal to 1 to capital Q H small q z. Now, one way to do this in this particular, let us take the same system function again here. So, let us go back to the system function that we are using. H z is 1 minus half z inverse into 1 minus 1 fourth z inverse, 1 minus 1 third z inverse squared into 1 minus 1 fifth z inverse. And let us try and see in what ways we can decompose this as a sum. So, we could express this in one way as something divided by 1 minus 1 third z inverse. Now, here is where the problem comes. You see, you could either have this possibility, 1 minus 1 third z inverse squared, some a 1 plus a 2 z inverse, if you please, actually, you know, you, well, let us see, we may need to allow this possibility, a 1 plus a 2 z inverse. You know, you need to have the possibility of 1 degree less. So, you know, if, if this is of degree 2, you must allow a degree 1 term here. And of course, A 3 divided by 1 minus 1 fifth z inverse. And this decomposition can be done by partial fractions. Incidentally, there are multiple forms of partial fraction decomposition. So, for example, the same system function could also be decomposed in the following way by partial fraction expansion. H z could have been written as sum a 1 divided by 1 minus 1 third z inverse the whole squared plus a 2 divided by 1 minus 1 third z inverse plus a 3 divide or maybe we will call it a 1 tilde, they are not the same. You see we should not write the same symbols. a 1 tilde by, so essentially only constants, if you are insisting only on constants, then this would be the form of the decomposition. But anyway what you notice is that we do have a degree 2 term here too. We cannot avoid that degree 2 term. I am assuming that all of us are now familiar with how to decompose a rational system function into its partial fraction terms. I would not spend time on that here. One could look up a standard text on complex analysis or series solution. But the point to be noted here is that whether we take this decomposition or we take this decomposition, either of them, this one or this one. We cannot avoid this degree 2 term here. So, in a way, we do not gain too much by this structure. We do have to realize a degree 2 term anyway and that is why we call it cascade parallel because this degree 2 term here it is degree 2 because this power is 2. If the power was higher, if the root had a higher multiplicity, for example, suppose the root had a multiplicity of 4, then 
you would have a degree 4 term, you could not go below degree 4. So, you see there is always this problem, when you have repeated roads, when you have repeated poles, you have no alternative, but to have a degree term of that degree in the, in the partial fraction decomposition, you cannot avoid it. And that particular term can either be realized in cascade form or direct form 2 or a combination of them. So, for example, suppose we took this form of the decomposition a 1 plus a 2 z inverse, we kept the entire polynomial on the degree 2 term as we have here and this, then we could realize it as follows. You see, we could realize it as a sum of two functions. And on this branch, we could of course put the 1 minus 1 third z inverse squared here. So, you have 2 third and minus 1 by 9. And on the forward branch, of course, you have a 1 plus a 2 z inverse. So, you have 2 z inverse here, a 1 and a 2 z inverse. And the second term of course, is easy to realize. There is a 1 fifth here in feedback and nothing in feed forward except a 3. So, these can be combined and there we go to get y. So, you have x there and y here. So, this is a cascade parallel form. Corresponding to this expansion here. So, a 1 plus a 2 z inverse divided by 1 minus 1 third z inverse the whole squared. So, if we call this say h tilde 1 z has been realized here. And if we happen to call this h tilde 2, then we have realized h tilde 2 here. and they have been added. So, that is simple. Now, of course, it is obvious if you want to realize this, you could of course realize it in two ways. One is realize this as a cascade structure, you know. So, here you know the, the name cascade parallel form is not quite clear. Why are we calling it cascade parallel? Because this is really a parallel form. It is a parallel combination of two system functions. But it is in this case that the cascade parallel idea will become clear. You see, in fact, what you can do is to realize this term as a cascade of two terms, which will help you then realize this term. So, let us do that. So, we realize a cascade, you know, z inverse, two such terms of the form 1 minus 1 third z inverse. And now, this is multiplied, the output here is multiplied, maybe you can put a node in between that will make it easier to understand. So, we tap this off and multiply this by a 2 tilde and tap this off and multiply this by a 1 tilde and sum them. And then of course, the upper realization is as it is. So, we have a 3 tilde as it is. In fact, a 3 tilde is the same as a 3 in the previous expression, that is not difficult to see. So, the a 3 in this expression is the same as the a 3 tilde in this expression. 
So there we are. We have z inverse 1 by 5 and this and we have a3 here. So now we could add these two and that completes y for you. Now this is where you need a cascade. That is why we are saying there is a cascade and a parallel combination. This is cascade and this is parallel. So we could also realize it using a cascade. So now here this would really in the true sense be a cascade parallel form. You know and uh, even though in the previous case we were able to make do with a sum of direct form two terms. Here we are actually using a cascade parallel form. So in general, we use the term cascade parallel because when you have higher degree terms, you could either realize them as a cascade or in direct form two. Anyway, those are some of the decompositional realizations. These are what are called obvious decompositional realizations. Now we have seen the disadvantage of these obvious decompositional realizations. One of the main disadvantages is neither of them can guarantee a fixed unit degree structure being repeated. In the cascade form or in the parallel form, the moment we have complex factors, you need to pair complex conjugates and therefore degree 2 is what you need to be prepared for. In the parallel form, if you have multiple poles and zeros, then you have no choice but to use a cascade parallel form or to use a direct form 2 term in the parallel realization in the partial fraction decomposition which is of higher degree than maybe even 2, could be degree 3, degree 4 depending on the multiplicity. And of course, where the tide if you have complex poles with multiplicity, then for each complex pole the complex conjugate makes a degree 2 factor and the multiplicity multiplies that number 2 by whatever multiplicity there is. So, what the tide is the same. 